Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to show you one program like how to print all exceptions which are raised in our program. Raised in our program. Yes. Now, to understand this program, first we need to know one thing. What is that? We are not only writing try, catch, finally, individually, but also we can write what here? Nested wise. That means, try, catch, finally, either we can write in the try block or we can write in the catch block or we can write in the very here finally block also. So, by using this nested try and catch finally block, we are going to print all exceptions which are raised in our program. So, this program will give you one new point to you that is in my last but one video I told you like uh, finally block return statement always dominate the try and catch block return statements. That means, uh, try and catch block return statement value always replaced with finally block return statement. Here is also same thing is going on guys that is try block, catch block exceptions overrided by the finally block exceptions. So, how can we prove that? First, let me prove whether the try block exception is overrided by the finally block or whether the catch block exception is overrided by the what here? What is that? With the finally block uh, exception object. Later, I am going to show you how to print all exceptions which are raised in our program in Java language. So, first let me take one small program or let me take first notepad. So, here I am writing like a class a demo. In the class demo, I have a method like a public, I have a method like a public static void main and string array s. Yes. Now, let me take, let me take one block. This is what here, try block. Let me take a try block and let me take here one more thing like a catch block and let me take, so before, before catch block, I want to say one thing. I want to write here in this particular term finally block. A try block can be ended with or followed by either catch block or finally block. So, let me write here system dot out dot print line, system dot out dot print line finally block, system dot out dot print line finally blocks or finally block whatever the terminology it may be. Now, control C let me copy here in the try block. Yes, try. So, let me say what is this demo dot java. So, it will asking like override. Yes, already demo dot java is there. It is replaced with this new file. Now, let me go and compile this program guys. Let me go and compile. Java C, there is no greatness. Small try and catch block program. This is already we seen lot of uh, uh, programs. So, java C demo dot java and java demo try and finally blocks go into execute. Now, observe guys. Now, observe. Here we required some little bit of sense. Now, int a equal to int a equal to 10 by 0. Now, what happened? One exception is rises in the try block, then automatically control goes to where here? Finally block. No, we do not have catch block. That is why control goes to where here? Finally block. If the catch block ex ex existed, so first control goes to catch block laterally, finally block. Now, see the output guys here, java c demo dot java and java demo. Now, what happened? Try block executes, later finally block execute, later exception object is uh, printed on the, later exception object is printed on the console. Already we know that. Whenever exception is it rises in the background, JVM is doing 5 steps. What are those? It will check behavior of the exception and select appropriate exception class and creating object for that and meanwhile of creating an object, adding the reason of the exception object and finally, that will be hand over to whom? Catch block. If that catch block is not existed or not matched, then the control goes to console. So, here, here what happened especially? We do not have, we do not have catch block, 
we do not have catch block that is why the control goes to where here console itself directly and printing. Now observe guys let me take one object let me take one exception what I want to do here uh, negative new int of new int of minus 1 new int of minus 1. So, that is array index always starts with a 0 or, or array index or array size must and should be 0 and more than 0 not negatives. Now, let me compile the program java c demo dot java and see this output guys what I am getting are you getting arithmetic exception no whatever the exception object is newly created by the JVM that exception object hand over to console nothing but previously in the try block JVM creates arithmetic exception on top of this arithmetic exception JVM placing what here negative array size exception whenever exception is rises by the JVM that exception object hand over into stack whenever exception is rises that exception object is created by the JVM and hand over to stack. So, here arithmetic exception stack follows one rule that is, that is last in first out or first in last out that means first arithmetic exception is injecting into stack later later which object is rise, which exception object is rises here negative array size exception negative array size exception. So, whenever JVM wants to fetch the exception object from the stack whatever the exception object is insert or lost that exception object is printed on the console first. So, negative array size exception. Now and again uh, one more uh, let me uh, take uh, let me take uh, let me take catch block let me take a catch block here now catch now catch and here I am writing like a exception e there is no try block guys sorry exception in the try as well as what here catch now observe guys there is small exception let me write like this system dot system dot out that println system dot out dot println what is this a ram a ram dot caret of 3 ram dot caret of 3 then what happened guys observe here let me comment this statement first uh, try block executing yes there is no exception there is no exception means what here catch block not executes but I want to in this scenario I want to execute the what here catch block when the catch block is going to execute it whenever the exception is rising in the try block then only catch block will execute. So, exception is rises in the try block then control goes to where here catch block in the catch block we have an exception what is that ram dot caret of 3 nothing but we are trying to print a third index character but in the ram we do not have any third index. So, it will giving the exception like what string index out of bound exception. So, let me go and check on the console then you can feel this flavor. Now, java c demo dot java and java demo then what happened guys string index out of bound exception already catch block is there in the catch block some exception is rises right, automatically it will print it on the variable console. Now, let me uncomment the exception which is rised in the finally block which is rised in the finally block see this guys beauty now in previously we are getting string index now we are getting what here negative index previously we are getting string index now we are getting what here negative index that means the object which is newly created by the JVM that object is pushed into the stack here. So, for more clarity uh, let me show you like this. So, first uh, our main method starts here in the main method what happen in the main method in the main method we have a try block in the try block some exception is rises. What is that exception arithmetic exception whenever exception is rises in the try block automatically control goes to where catch block in the catch block what happen guys in the catch block we have an exception what is that exception string index out of bound exception. So, whenever exception is rises ok then uh, automatically you guys know that finally block is always executable block then automatically control goes to where here finally block in the finally block there is an exception in the finally block there is an exception what is that finally block exception very simple guys nothing is there that is what here negative array size exception negative array size exception here in the try block one exception is there in the try block one exception object is there 
in the catch block in the finally block also this is what your finally and this is what your catch block and this is what your try block so you guys already i given one point what is that point what is that point here the point here is finally block always dominate dominate the catch block dominate the catch block and try block exceptions see whenever exception is rises whenever exception is rises jvm will place that exception object into the stack that exception object into the where stack so first uh, arithmetic exception is placed after that in the catch block there is a exception what is that exception string index out of bound exception on top of the try block one ex one exception object is come and sit on top of the string index out of bound exception finally block exception object will come and sit that means try and catch block uh, all uh, finally block always dominate uh, try and uh, catch block yes now how to overcome this is problem how to overcome this problem so that's why our heading is how to print all exceptions which are raised in our program that means i want to print finally block catch block and arithmetic exceptions like a try block try block exception in our project then what we need to do very simple guys nothing is there now observe guys int a equal to 10 by 0 that means exception is arises once exception is arises automatically that exception object will come and place into where will come and place it into system dot out dot print ln of e so here the exception object you know i'm writing like e dot two string separately we'll see what is the use of the two string print stack trace and get message and everything so this is what your e dot two string e dot two string now Ab exception is rises that will be placed into e on top of the e, i'm calling what your two string method that means the exception details will be printed on the console itself now catch block rises catch block is what your exception so whenever catch block is rises exception again it will go and search for what your another catch block we don't have another catch block then how can we print it's a damn easy thing guys see within the catch block also within the catch block also what can we do we can able to write we can able to write try and catch so what is the exception here now here i'm writing like exception even exception even now here i'm writing like here i'm writing like system dot system dot <coughs> system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln this is what e1 dot e1 dot two string yes see this e1 dot two string now let me take let me take what is this control c control v control v this exception i'm writing on top of here yes now so in the previous video i told you like only try catch blocks try catch finally blocks within the only try but now in this time i am writing catch block within the catch block also we can write what here try and catch and within the finally block also we can write what here try and catch now will you please observe the guys will you please observe the previous output first let me show you the previous output so previous output either try block exception object to hand overcome by the finally block or even catch block exception object also uh, overcome by the what here finally block exception object dominating through stack concept now how to overcome this problem see how to print all exceptions see this see this output java c demo dot java and java demo we are getting some exceptions guys concentrate what is this arithmetic exception which is raised in the try block second one which is raised in the where catch block and third one which is raised in the where finally block what is our title what is our title how to print all the exceptions which are raised in our program means by using nested try catch finally blocks i hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you